This is a continuation of the series of screencasts that we're doing to introduce you to the SMSified platform. SMSified is a platform for sending and receiving text messages that has a dead simple REST API and a one cent per message pricing structure. Now if you've watched the previous screencasts, you'll know that it's very easy to get started to use SMSified. You can send outbound text messages by simply making HTTP requests from the command line. And while that's great, if you're going to build SMS functionality into your software or to your website, you're, you're probably going to want a client library that you can incorporate. So we've started to release client libraries for using SMSified, and I'm going to show you one of those today. If you go over to our GitHub repo, you'll see um, a PHP library and a Node.js module. And our, our uh, GitHub site is at github.com slash SMSified. We have a whole bunch more client libraries coming. Today I'm going to show you the Node.js library and how to send an outbound text message with Node.js. If you click into the repo, you'll see a description, uh, you'll see installation instructions, and a bunch of detailed examples. Uh, there's also individual examples in the examples directory of this repo, so you can look at each different usage scenario and tailor it to your needs. To install this module, we just use npm and do npm install SMSify. All right, so now that we've got it installed, let's see if we can um, send an outbound text message. Now what I want to show you is um, uh, the numbers that I have uh, set up in my account. Um, I have a default number that I'll use for this example. And I'm going to use a very simple Node.js script that is almost identical to one you'll find in the examples directory of the GitHub repo I just showed you. And what it does basically is it sends a text message from the number I just showed you in my SMSified account to my mobile phone and just going to send it a quick message from Node.js. I'm using a config file to store my um, username and password for um, SMSified. I don't want to show them in this screencast. So I pass these options into the send message method uh, and I give it a callback that in this case will just write out to the console the um, uh, JSON response that we get back from SMSified. So let's see if we can send a text message. I've got my uh, volume turned up on my um, cell phone, so we should should be able to hear it uh, when it hits. So this is the JSON we get back from, and there's my uh, text message. I love sending SMS messages using Node.js. There we go. Uh, so we get this response back from SMSify. Let me just do this so my phone doesn't keep yelling at me. Um, one of the things I get back is this message ID. Now, if you're programmatically sending out text messages um, from your software uh, product or from your website, it helps to have a way that you can query the status of um, a text message. What happened to it? What's it delivered? What's, what, what ended up happening to that? So I'm going to use another uh, method in this um, uh, Node.js module that we've got. Um, you'll find an example almost identical to this one again in the examples directory. But I'm going to pass in um, my account telephone number, the sender address, that message ID that I just got back, and another callback that will just um, parse the JSON we get from SMSified and um, write it out to the console. And what I want to do is I want to check on the status of that particular text message based on this message ID. I get to ask SMSified what happened to that text message, show me the status. And there we can see uh, the, the status of um, the text message using just this very simple Node.js script. I mean, that's less than 10 lines of code. Uh, I was able to find out that it was delivered to um, a carrier network. Uh, that's why I have a code of zero. Um, I get the sender address, the, uh, mess the number I sent it to, um, some data information, how many parts were in this text message, so if it exceeded the 160 character limit. Um, the direction that I was sending it, this would be inbound for an inbound text message, and there's my message. I love sending SMS messages using Node.js. So there you have it. You can see that um, using our um, client libraries, you can very easily incorporate powerful SMS uh, functionality into your software or your website. And we'll be demonstrating uh, more of these client libraries uh, in the next few screencasts.